Yo, what is up guys? Cool, hope you're doing great. This is the first video I've made on this channel in a couple of years. And the reason being is that, you know, over the course of years, people learn different things, don't they? We learn experience, we move forward in life. Yep. So what have I learned about blushing? What have I learned about this problem? And, um, you know, what's the kind of culmination of the 12 years I've helped people with these issues? I still, and I, for people who don't know who I am, I still help people with anxiety, stress. These are problems every single day, which blushing is definitely a manifestation of. Cool. So what have I really learned? I've learned that with blushing, yeah, there's really one core problem that most people ignore. So whether someone's 12, 15, 20, 30, yeah, over the years, I've had people who have had um, that surgery, that you have to stop yourself blushing. Um, they've done all kinds of extreme things to try and stop it. But underneath the surface has always been one problem, yep, that, um, that, that really is the foundation towards the experience they have. Now, if you're a person that's tried to kind of get rid of your blushing and it's gone away quickly, then you're probably a person that doesn't have this. Yeah, and some people do find that and then they, they talk about how they've done it and then it doesn't work for you. If you're a person that's tried to get rid of it, but it hasn't really gone away and whatever you've done, it's still kind of continued and you have the tendency in yourself as well to be kind of insecure or introverted or analytical, judging yourself, criticizing yourself. You're quite shut down and held back, not judging you for that. Yeah, within your body language, within your expression and lots of things you find difficult. You find it difficult to move forward. Your brain's really reactive towards stress. You can have a tendency to be low self-esteem, low confidence, uncomfortable in yourself. Lots of things are really difficult for yourself that other people don't find difficult. If these are problems in your life, yep, yeah, and uh, these things are coming up consistently in every single way, then there's a different problem. There's a different problem. Just burped them. Sorry about that. <laughs> there's a different problem. And this problem really is understanding that, you know, for these things to have manifested in our life, yeah, there's really certain things that have happened. There's certain things that happened that have moved us in the direction to the point now where when we blush, we feel this pain, we feel this conflict, we feel this stress, we feel shut down in this way. So what, what are those things? What could those things be? Um, what really happens is this, is that we have stressful experiences in our childhood and these stressful experiences lead to us feeling pain and suffering to a degree. And because of that, we learn to take certain actions and we perceive these certain actions keep us safe. But in the moment they keep us safe, but over the long time they cause us pain. For example, imagine you learn at some point to hide, to move away, to repress how you feel, to not say what you think, to um, hide how you feel by keeping your facial expression still rather than showing you feel upset, showing you feel sad, showing you feel upset, showing you feel down, frustrated, angry, said upset twice. And in your tone of voice, not expressing your tone of voice and what's going on within you, but instead of doing that, keep your tone of voice neutral, which is why I did. I didn't ask a question in school, college or university. Yep. One question to the, towards any teacher in that entire time, like 10, 15 years, whatever it was, because I was so shut down, so introverted myself, so held back that I literally couldn't. I'd have a full-on panic attack. I'd feel so uncomfortable. And anything the teacher said or someone might say to me, I couldn't process. And I might blush, feel embarrassed, feel, you know, cry <laughs> straight away because I just, just was totally uncomfortable in that way. So I'd learned certain actions to keep myself safe, but they kept me trapped in these patterns. So one way to frame it, yeah, is knowing that these habits that you've learned underneath your blushing are the habits that are keeping you trapped. And when you change those habits, not only does the blushing go away, but you feel stronger, you feel more confident, you feel more elevated, you feel better in yourself, you feel more upbeat, and you move from living in a state of stress and avoidance towards confidence and um, elevation. It's a new word, thought I'd use it, chuck it in there. <laughs> towards moving forward towards things more effortlessly, towards being held back, yeah. And um, you know, I spoke to quite a few people recently about these types of issues. And, and that's really the kind of cornerstone of it where um, when people just kind of try and manage their blushing, it doesn't really tend to work. When people understand the habits that they learn, which caused this pain, these reactions in the first place, and they focus on doing these things, focus on changing these things, yeah, then everything changes in their life, yep, in, in unison. So for example, in my life, I don't understand these things at all. Totally clueless for a long, long time. And I've just been just learned to be that way. Introverted, held back, shut down, worried about things, in anticipatory anxiety, stress, panicky, constantly living this way, non-stop in my life. And even when there was periods where I felt better, 
I didn't understand that I was still following the habits which I learned to keep myself safe. Yeah, when I was a young child, like 12, 13, 14 in school, but those habits in unison were constantly telling my brain that I was unsafe, therefore creating the reactivity in my brain and feeling on edge and feeling uneasy, feeling panicky, stressed, uncomfortable all the while within myself. Yeah, so um, within this room, I still just, just, yeah, I still help people with, my main job is to help people with anxiety, panic, fear, stress-based experiences and feelings. Yeah, and it's knowing really, it's always the same thing where someone's learnt to a survival strategy to keep themselves safe, held on to the strategy, and now it's constantly making themselves feel that way. For example, off the top of my head, someone that came to see me for blushing a few years ago was a young girl who was a um, accountant. And um, she's really pretty, really lovely in every way. And she constantly felt it was unprofessional. So she constantly felt awful, yeah, about the experience, yeah. But looking back now, I probably didn't help her particularly well. Um, it probably was about 10 years ago now, when I f- where a couple of years after first became a therapist. And what did I tend to do? Well, probably just managed it or tried to break the pattern or change it. But I didn't really understand that that was linked to a deeper pattern that she followed in her life all the while. And that pattern really was, she wasn't comfortable with being vulnerable. No, no, no. So, so she wasn't comfortable with being vulnerable because the pattern she had was to never show it, never voice it, never express it, always hold it back. So she had a pattern of withholding where every single time she felt anything that she thought someone might think was wrong or criticize her for or this or that, she constantly withhold. So she withheld by not telling the truth. She withheld by not showing on her face. She withheld by not showing in her tone of voice and her expressions how she was fucking feeling in the minute yeah what was going on within her and every time she did that her brain just heard the message you're not safe you're not safe you're not safe you're in danger you're in danger you're in danger creating huge stress then connected to any experience where she shows herself so when she blushes it takes away her safe survival strategy and she just has incredibly suffering pain conflict So what she really wanted was to keep the strategy, but not blush, which is impossible. Yeah, and won't work. Yep. But if I'd have known what I know now, I'd have felt to do that. And it would have changed everything in her life. Maybe now, 10 years later, it's caused all kinds of secondary problems in her life because she hasn't fully resolved it. And she's still feeling inadequate. She's still feeling panicky. She's still feeling anxious. She's still feeling uncomfortable at work. um, And she still has the blushing. You know, it's probably the case now. Whereas when you deal with that one habit that's creating everything then literally everything changes. Cool, guys. Hope that helps. Well, that's, uh, that's what I've learned after the past 12 years and um, hope it resonates with you. Write in the comments. I'll actually check and read people's comments and um, let you know what I think. Awesome. Take care, guys.